Fala galera, bem-vindos ao Mundo da Tantra. Estou com mais um vídeo para o canal de Game of Thrones. Então, vamos retomar o jogo aqui e vamos nessa. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I, I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? 
Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. Tem que manipular, dar um jeito de qualquer jeito ali, né, velho? De todos os lados. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamir. I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She chose you, yet now she puts the king first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Complicado, hein? Esquiva de um lado, esquiva de outro. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. Don't worry, Tell. I'll deal with them. Hurry, I'll check on Mother.
parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> Who's behind this? Come out and face me! <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. You'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Tentei de todo jeito, cara. Eu não ia deixar, mas tentei de todo jeito ali. Griff Whitehill. That snot nose fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if he drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands. Burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan.
Bom, galera, o vídeo de hoje vai ficar por aqui. Se você gostou, like, favorita, se inscreva no canal. Caso vocês não são inscritos ainda, um grande abraço pra vocês. Até a próxima. Valeu, falou e...